Just some key processes for introduction later on in the course. Um, the rainwater tank or rainwater storage is actually a bioreactor. So you have biofilms on the walls and a biofilm on the bottom, which in Australian lingo they also call a sludge. And there's a water surface microlayer on the water surface, which was discovered by a medical scientist in 1912, by the way, so it's, this isn't new. Um, and, and these processes are actually very powerful of cleaning water, rainwater. So they're natural processes. So rainwater that doesn't have end of line treatment is not necessarily untreated because they're natural processes. And these processes are settlement. So contaminants enter the system and they settle um, and then they're eaten by the biofilms that are hungry because it's a, in a low nutrient environment. There's flocculation. So sediment particles are negatively charged. So other particles, particularly uh, bacteria, and so on are actually attracted to them. So it's natural flocculation in a water supply system. Um, your utilities adding alum and other chemicals to try and create artificial flocculation to take contaminants out of water supply. This just happens naturally in a rainwater system. And there's this process called competitive exclusion. So the, the relatively harmless environmental bacteria like bacillus species that can be in rainwater storages and they're not something to be that worried about and they're the building block of biofilms who are actually quite brutal on less resilient bacteria that we know as pathogens and what they do is they eliminate other types of bacteria so there's important work that we've discovered and rainwater storage also has different behaviours at different locations as we talked about earlier on. So if you can see from this slide, if you're taking samples from your rainwater storage to work out whether or not it's good quality and you sample from the water surface, you're potentially getting very misleading results for your water quality. So we'll go back to this later. Mm -hmm.